When I had my really bad attack in March, the thought that was running through my mind, because Mary was away, was out, was I don't want to die alone. Now I've got all emotional again. <laughs> Okay, sure. Uh, I live in a Melbourne suburb called Coburg and I live with my wife, Mary. About 10 years ago, I started getting urinary tract infections. Pain in the bladder, burning sensation when peeing. Initially, they responded to very common antibiotics. Then as years went by, I would continue to get urinary tract infections and we'd have to change the antibiotics. The ones I was on weren't working because the bacteria that I had became resistant. In March this year, I had a really scary occurrence. I started getting cold and I started shaking uncontrollably. Mary was out and I phoned her up and I said, you've got to come home. I'm really ill. She took me down to the emergency department of Royal Melbourne Hospital, where I was immediately admitted. I was thinking I was going to die. I was in hospital for a week, and I had a, a central line put in where they put a tube into your arm, which wiggles up here, down to the heart, and put onto some of these so-called last resort antibiotics and I had my last dose four weeks ago yesterday and miraculous, well, it seems miraculous to me, I've been infection free for four weeks. Touch wood. It's emotionally draining. There's something lurking in the back of your mind about what happens when the next one comes. It's um, affected the last 10 years. My hopes for the future. Uh, no more infections. Need to be cautioned as often as possible about the importance of simple hygiene. Don't believe that antibiotics are gonna solve sniffles and coughs and colds, cause they're not, cause mostly antibiotics don't work against viruses. Make sure that you finish them. Don't just take them till you feel good and then say, I don't need to take them anymore. Finish the course. Antibiotics have saved millions of lives, um, including mine. But there's a danger because of resistance that we're going to lose that. Is our luck going to hold out forever? I don't know. I don't know.